Hello everybody from On Top of All, my name is Spike, doing another video this week, and I did promise last week that I was going to let Johnny out of his cage. Don't worry, that's still going to happen. Uh, I'm just going to go forget to lock Johnny's cage real quick, and he's going to think that he's freaking out. <laughs> he hasn't learned yet that every time that he escapes, I let him out, because it's funny. Just seeing him like go crazy for freedom and all this stuff, he just goes, oh, yeah. He gets so excited, every, it worked out every time that he gets a single combo until I get back and I say no. He crawls with it again. It's fantastic. Oh, it's just, it's the best. Alright, I'll, I'll see you once. Alright, so I'm back. Fight. Fight. Oh my gosh, you guys have no, a lot, no idea how long I've been locked in a cage. He's been just making me run the numbers on my probability for like hang trips for the longest time. You have no idea how many times I've had to calculate brainstorm math for him. Oh god. But it's okay now. It's okay, I'm free to make combos again, dude I love. Alright, All right. I got a new one, a fresh one. It involves tapping and untapping infinitely, infinite mana, infinite draining. It involves a lot of walls. Don't tell me about the walls. Oh god, it's great. It's great. Anyway, it's called it's called Axe Bane Drain because you use Axe Bane Wall and like and uh and anyway, we'll see it in a second. I'll try it. I'll try. Alright, so the two combo cards of the deck that really make the deck uh, go infinite are Axe Bane Guardian and Galvanic Alchemist. Now you can obviously see how these would play together because. Uh, Axe Bane Guardian can tap for more than three mana potentially, while Galvanic Alchemist can tap, can untap something that it's soul bound with for three mana. So together they go infinitely as long as you have uh, at least four creatures with Defender. Hence why we're playing so many walls. And these creatures are very important, so that's why we have uh, four Drift of Phantasms. And to help us find more of these, uh, we also have two Murfo Merfolk Looters and one uh, Thought Courier. The Thought Courier and the Merfolk Looters, the reason why we want to have uh, some of each is to play around uh, cards like Echoing Decay. Uh, they've been popping up a little bit more and more uh, as the format gets closer and closer to uh, refining itself and closer to being solved. Then, uh, along with those creatures, we have four Overgrown Battlements. It's kind of our backup Axe Bane Guardian, gives us a lot of mana. Uh, we don't try to go off with it usually. Uh, we only do it like desperately to help us, uh, like desperately use uh, the Soulbound mechanic with Galvanic Alchemist and the Merfolk Looters to untap them real quick and go back and forth until we can get a, a Battlement out. I mean, another uh, Axe Bane. Alright, and then uh, we have some good walls that have some utility for us and give us a couple extra options and do some good things for us. We have Mnemonic Wall, two of. We're not playing that many instants and sorceries, so Mnemonic Wall is uh, just okay. We're not playing low Ghostly Flicker with it or anything like that. And then we're playing Gatekeeper Vine, four of. It allows us to search for Basic Forest, Basic Island, Simic Guildgate, which is why I like it. It gets us uh, technically a dual land if we would like. So we can choose what land that we're playing next. A lot of times, and plus it feeds more mana into Battlements and Axe Bane Guardian. Then we have, uh, then we have our Instants and our Sorceries. Let's start with our Win Condition Sorcery, a Brush with Death. It is three mana. Target opponent loses two life. We gain two life. Buy back for four mana. But when you have infinite mana, and Axe Bane Guardian can produce uh, X combat X mana in any combination of colors, black is included. Infinite black mana, infinite blue mana, infinite green mana, and then we just drain them for a million. Then we have four Gataxian Probes to help us protect our combo, help us uh, watch our opponent's hand, help us uh, thin our deck out, see when removal's coming, seeing when a threat's coming, you know, really useful stuff. Then four Brainstorm. We have a lot of shuffle effects in this deck, uh, thanks to our mana base and thanks to Gatekeeper Vine. I'm sorry, three Brainstorm. Uh, my head's a little dizzy. First time I've seen sunlight in so long. Alright, and then we have uh, the rest of our instants are kind of cards that you might see Tron play. Like two Condescend, uh, two Repeal, and three Power Sync. 
These are X cost cards with a blue. These cards uh, help us get through our deck a little bit or slow our opponent down a lot. And because of the amount of mana that we have, we don't mind spending four mana on X sometimes until our combo is ready. And it helps us uh, when we, let's say, skim through our deck with a Merfolk Looter or Thought Courier uh, and we get the option to pull all of these cards out of our deck, we can uh, hold them up to help us protect our combo when it comes time to cast Brush with Death. You can mix and match these uh, in whatever way best fits your meta, but I like this uh, amount, a nice uh, rounded out uh, way of doing this. And because we're like Tron, I also put in one cap size because of the amount of mana that we have sometimes, just sometimes if we have 12 mana, cap size them twice, keep doing that until we actually get what we want or until they scoop. Either one's fine. I enjoy watching it either way. Now let's go to our mana base. All right, so we got four Thornwood Falls. Uh, they draw, they uh, give us one life. Come into play tap, dual land, real good. Two Simic Guild Gates, the reason why they're there uh, is they are backup uh, dual lands and they're tutorable for Gate Creeper Vine and they help, and uh, they're a good reason to uh, to be playing Brainstorm. Then we have eight forest, four islands, two Terramorphic Expanse, again for the shuffle effect. So in total we're playing 20 lands, uh, it may not seem like a lot, but because of the mana that we have, uh, a lot of times we can play land per turn up until turn four and be completely fine. And then let's move on to our sideboard. We have four Jahidi offshoots. Pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Whatever. Good against burn. Great against their little uh, block. Get to lava slingers or whatever. The little lava runners. And we have two uh, churning Edies. They bounce a land back to the hand and a creature, not half bad against Strawn, to slow them down a bit. Then we have a Fengraft Marauder to fight against Affinity. Uh, we can either ramp into it when we play it and we end up blocking and eating a Mirror Enforcer, we gain the life uh, and we can start swinging the game back in our favor, stabilize. We also have one Molder, X cost, green spell, gain X life, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Good for us, great for us. One Relic of Progenitus to fight against Graveyard Hate, and three One-Eyed Scarecrows. All creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus one until uh, it leaves the battlefield. It's another defender. Great Forest can play it with any kind of mana. Easy to cast, easy to play. Uh, helps fight the Delvers. Always gotta fight the Delvers. And good for fighting against uh, Glistening Hawk, uh, Core Skyfishers. That's why we have three of them. Then we have one Maltani's Decree. Destroy all the enchantments, great against Boggles, and uh, uh, good against Stompy because of all the Rancors and stuff. Then we have two Walls of Distortion. Uh, I know it's off color, but with Axe Bane Guardian and our ability to tutor out Axe Bane Guardian and our ability to cantrip into Axe Bane Guardian, playing this makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, it's really good again, a long game against uh, certain control decks that have been popping up more and more in the format, and it's just good to us. We have the excess mana, we have the wall, we should definitely play it, and it's another defender. Good for us. All right. Wow, I'm glad I got that out of my system. I feel a lot better now. <laughs> I really hope Spike does not come back home soon. I like playing Magic the Guy, God, I want to combo more often. All right, go out there, crush your opponent, st Combo them out, drain them out, do whatever you want to, but do it infinitely. Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Follow me on Twitter, follow us on uh, Patreon. And, oh, don't forget, next week we got another deck coming out. Who knows what it's gonna be? I know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be Red Black Discard. Hell yeah! Deck Building Master. Come for the face touch.